Deuteronomy 13 gives a strong warning against idolatry. Starting in verse 4, we read, Serve only the Lord your God and fear Him alone. Obey His commands, listen to His voice, and cling to Him. The false prophets or visionaries who try to lead you astray must be put to death, for they encourage rebellion against the Lord your God, who redeemed you from slavery and brought you out of the land of Egypt. Since they tried to lead you astray from the way the Lord your God commanded you to live, you must put them to death. In this way, you will purge the evil from among you. Suppose someone secretly entices you, even your brother, your son or daughter, your beloved wife or your closest friend, and says, let us go worship other gods, gods that neither you nor your ancestors have known. They might suggest that you worship the gods of people who live nearby or come from the ends of the earth. But do not give in or listen. Have no pity and do not spare or protect them. This chapter presents several scenarios about what to do if strangers, loved ones, or whole communities try to tempt them to worship other gods. No matter who does the tempting, the answer is always the same. Don't do it and get rid of the culprit, even if it's a loved one. No one is allowed to tempt them to worship false gods and the consequences for doing so should be swift and severe. Listen, God knows his people. He knows we'll be tempted to worship false idols. And if we look at the course of biblical history, idolatry was eventually the undoing of the Israelites. Most of us have a hard time imagining bowing down to a metal statue representing a god or a golden altar to some false deity. And yet we have to be very careful here. Our false gods are less obvious but still present. Let's not think that we're somehow better than the Israelites. After all, we worship money, power, technology, sports, our children's activities, our own hobbies, and our own families, along with many other things. Here's the deal. Anything that we put before God is an idol. And if we're honest, we can put a lot before God. In order to truly honor God, we need to destroy all of our idols and put our trust in God and God alone. Take a moment today to reflect on the things in which you have put your trust. The idols that we serve enslave us in return, but God wants us to be free. So we must learn to put our trust in God and God alone.